we got to play for the troops, which is so, uh, for us, it seems like the least we could do for you guys, because you guys put your lives and sacrifice so much for our country and, you know, your family. And, uh, it, it's such a it's such an honor for us to be able to just give back to you guys, you know. This is the first time we got to do like the simulators, and that was so awesome. That was really cool. I didn't, you know, it's it's easy to to do all the simulators because you're not getting shot at, you know. So it's kind of like a, I sat in one of the, the gun turrets and. Like, this is really cool, but I don't think it'd be too cool if I was getting shot at. Watching what happens when a vehicle rolls over is also pretty pretty cool. I didn't think it was it was possible to uh, to actually do that. We have never done anything on a base or for any of our armed forces. We'd wanted to for a long time. This is really it's really cool. Um, to actually get to be around people that appreciate a good time more, probably because you guys have to work way harder than most people. I had no idea it was so hard to load and uh, and control like a, a big machine gun or grenade launcher. I thought the grenade launcher was pretty pretty amazing. The military is organized. It seems like everything is run in an incredibly logical way that makes sense. <laughs> In Hawaii? Yes. If you can name that one. I mean, you guys are the most courageous. It takes a whole different person to become, you know, military and fight for our country. It's not about muscles and not about strength. It's about heart and courage. And, 